welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really cute spring bunny diorama using all items from the Dollar Tree. Stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let us get started. So first off, what you're going to need, one of these little candle holders from Dollar Tree. You can get these. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, but anyway, I get them at Dollar Tree. You're also going to need a set of these bunnies. This also came from Dollar Tree. Now, I'm not going to be using both halves here. I'm only going to be using one. So I think the one that I want to use is the one here without the face. I, I don't like faces on things. I don't know. That's just me. I don't like faces. So I'm going to take the sticker off and we're just going to use this one. And now that I think about it, I don't know why I don't like faces. I mean, I've known plenty of two-faced people in my life. But anyway, we're going to take the label off of this. I can't find my scissors, so I'm just going to use a knife over here <laughs> to cut it off. All right, so I have my glue gun over here heating up and I also have some E6000. So what we are essentially going to be doing is I'm going to clean this because it has some glitter in it. But I'm going to take this and we're going to glue this candle holder onto the bottom right here and it will just fit. You can see that it just barely fits perfectly so that there, this isn't sticking out anywhere. But anyway, I'm going to take this E6000 and we're going to put that on first. I need to open it because this is a new little tube here. Um, there we go. And I'm going to put some of this on the points and then we're going to go back with our hot glue gun and put some hot glue in between it. Why do we do it this way? Because the E6000 is going to harden up and provide us blah blah English amber. What is it? Provide us with long term hold. And then the hot glue is going to be more like a short term hold just to kind of hold it together so it'll fall apart while we're painting it. And I still have moss all over my table because in my previous video i was working with moss and you know it gets everywhere so anyway i'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on here it's not totally heated up yet but i don't like to put the hot glue on top of the e6000 because then it doesn't quite set up right and it weakens the bond so anyway we're just going around like so i'm just putting this in between my blobs and then we're going to stick the bunny on and i think i missed some over here Okie dokie. So now we're just going to stick this to the bottom of the bunny. I'm trying to get it in the center here. Does that look okay? Yeah, I think that looks all right. So let's just press that down and hold it in place for a moment. And we're going to let this hot glue set up. Just be careful with it. Because, you know, the E6000 is on there too, but it's not going to set up for about 24 hours. Just be careful. So now I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to paint it with this Rust-Oleum 2 Times Ultra Cover Painted Primer Ultra Matte in the color white. And I got this at Walmart. So anyway, I'm going to go run outside, paint it, wait for it to dry, and then we're going to come back and we'll do something else. Okay, so our paint has dried. So now what I have, some of this decorative nautical rope, this came from Dollar Tree. So we're just going to rip that off there. So what I want to do is I want to take this and you can see here on the bunny, this edge right here, I want to take this and I want to glue it all along that edge. Okay, so let us get our scissors here and one of these ends, see it has tape on it. So I'm just going to cut that off over here and just kind of let that fall on the floor. Oh, these scissors suck. Why did I grab these? I don't know. I have scissors all over the daggum house. But anyway, I think where I'm going to start is, I think I'm going to start up here on an ear so we can hide the ends. And when I say hide the ends, it's because I have this ribbon over here that I want to make a bow and stick on one of the ears. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't know. I haven't 100% decided yet. But I think that's what I want to do. So yeah, let's wipe off this glue here. And then I'm just going, like I said, just right here on that little line. Just kind of laying that there. And this is going to take me a minute because I'm going to do it just a little at a time and then hold it in place. Oh, I got a little bit of glue. Help me. I'm just going to wipe it off with this because <laughs> I want to cut these flowers off. But anyway, I'm going to work my way all the way around the outline of this bunny. 
Alrighty, so I have the rope all the way around, and I also put a piece of rope right here. I started on the back, I just brought it around, brought this piece around, and then glued it to the back. So now we have something that looks like this. Okay, so I have some of this Spanish moss. This is also from Dollar Tree. There is a fly in here. I'm not ready for fly season. Come on now. Y'all know I live right beside of a uh, pasture, a cow pasture over there. And if you're not careful, when you open up the windows or the door and let air in, you let a fly in. All right. So I have some of this. If I can get it out of the daggum package. It's stuff about to make me cuss. All right. Ooh. All right. So we're going to put some glue right down in here. And then we're going to stick this moss down. And this is flat on the bottom, so this is going to work. And I've been sitting here trying to decide what do I want to put in here. I've got some eggs. And I'm like, nah, that makes it, you know, too Easter-like. And then I have some lavender over here. And I'm like, well, that would be pretty good. That way it can be, you know, kind of springtime as well. So I'm just placing this moss right down in there. Like so. Um, where did the eggs go? I was going to open up the eggs and show you what it would look like with the eggs. And then you can decide, you know, if that's something that you want to do or if you want to put flowers in it. You know, you don't have to glue the eggs down. You don't have to glue anything down. That way it's interchangeable. And you can stick in flowers or eggs. Let's just put in a few right there. And we can see what that looks like. Okay. So that's what a handful of the eggs would look like which is pretty cute. Like I said, I kind of, I want to throw that in the floor. It's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to kind of keep this, you know, spring-like. So I'm going to be using some of this lavender. I think I want to put a little bit more moss in here. Okay, so I'm just going to put in some more hot glue like so. If you like this glue gun and you want it, this is a sure bonder. I have links in the description box. Just click on where it says glue gun and it will take you to a page where you can purchase one for your very own. Okay. And I will go back with some scissors and trim up some of this excess moss that's hanging out of the front here. But anyway, this lavender and I have thread wrapped around it. My goodness. Now, where is my wire cutters? Hold on. Okay. So this lavender here. I'm just going to cut some of that off and then I want to place it in here and don't worry I'm going to be gluing this down so see it's going to come down here and it's also going to come up and fill this space here okay so I'm going to take some I'm just going to cut a few pieces I don't have a whole lot of this lavender left um, so you just try to use what I do have here just cut it into pieces and then stick it down in that moss and I'll put a few drops of glue down at the base. I know y'all can't even see this. Put a few drops of glue down at the base down here. I might need to trim that a little bit more to hold it in place. Okay, I have the lavender in and that is what that looks like. So I have some of these tiny little white flowers. These came from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to clip a few and let's see what that would look like if I put just a few of these at the base of that lavender. I don't want to glue this in yet. Okay, so let's bring this back and just kind of stick a few in here and there. I think that might look okay. Yeah, that's kind of cute. What y'all think? I think it's kind of cute. Yeah, let's get three. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. That's... That looks pretty good. All right, so for this part down here, what can we put there? I have some of this that was left over from a previous video. This is just like some pearl lacy trim that I got at Joann's. So let's turn this around and I'm just going to glue it right here. I'm gonna glue here and go all the way around to bring it back around. I did scuff the back of that cause I dropped it, but it's okay. This pesky fly is getting on my nerves. Okay, so now we're going to be careful and we're going to glue that down. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap it around, bring it up this side, and then glue it down. Okay, so this is what we have so far with this wrapped around the bottom, and I put two more little white flowers in there. 
All right, so this is what we have. Now, this ribbon here, um, this is wired ribbon, and this came from Dollar Tree as well. I think, did everything here come from Dollar Tree? Probably, I don't know. But we are gonna make a really simple little bow to go up here on the ears. So I'm going to measure about how wide I think it should be. And I think that this right here will be good. So let's bend that in half, okay? So we bend it in half. And now, like I said, these scissors are terrible. These are some old scissors. And I grabbed them instead of my good scissors, which is getting on my nerves, but it's okay. It's might have to do just for this video. Yep, those need to go in the garbage. They were just some cheap Walmart scissors that I've had in my yarn bag forever. Okay, let's lay this out. So I'm gonna bring this edge in, okay? Now let's put us a little bit of glue right there. And then we're gonna bring this edge over and just give that a minute and let that glue set up. Okay. So we have our little ribbon loop there. And this here, this is just some floral wire. We're just gonna take a piece of this wire and trim it. Okay, so the folded part, the cut part right here, let's put that to the back. And then we're gonna fold this in half towards us. And then just take that little piece and fold it back like that. And we're gonna make this little tiny bow. Now for this wire, we're just going to hold it in place and wrap it around and that's just to keep our bow in the bow shape. Okay, wrap it around and let's make sure that it's still looking like a bow. And now just take your wire and we're gonna twist it, twist it to hold it in place and then trim off the ends. All right, so back with this trim that we used on the bottom, let's put a little bit of that up at the top and it'll kind of help to tie everything together. So I just put a blob of glue right there on the back of the bow. Let's see, what's the front? I don't really think it matters. It kind of looks the same. It does, it does. And now we're just wrapping that around. And then we're gonna put a blob of glue right here. And just bring this around and hold it down until that glue sets up and then we're going to trim off the end of our trim okay so here is our bow all right so if we look here this is where we joined the rope a while ago and i'm trying to decide if i wanted to put this on the ear or like that i think i just kind of want it kind of cattywampus there going across one ear i think that's cute so let's make sure that we have the right side facing us okay and then we're just going to press that little bow down and let the glue set up. And that is going to be that. I think that's it. So anyway, this craft here, you know what? I'm like, I need to film today. And I didn't have anything planned. I was just digging through a box of some stuff that I had in my stash. And I just threw this together. And you know what? A lot of times that's what you want to do. If, if you're going to craft, look at this thread. Because I had thread in the box too. I'll get this thread off there here just in a second. But anyway, that's what you do. You just look and you're like, what do I have? Let me throw something together. And I think it came out pretty cute. And I used up a lot of things that I needed to throw away. But um, yeah, that's that. Anyway, let me get this thread out of here. <laughs> Stay tuned after this video and I will have a photo for you to see it in its entirety. But anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. There we go. I got it out. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.